Well, happy Friday for the second time. This is actually the second video I've done today. Um, this is a follow on from the previous one, which was really talking about what is potentially a hugely problematic data issue within the world of GIS. In this one, I'm going to address the geospatial industry. So my title here is why is it imperative that a geospatial industry moves from dinosaur to agile? So let's talk about what dinosaur organizations are. And I just did a quick search on the web for what, what dinosaur in terms of organizations means. The kind of words that are attached to it are ponderous, slow, outdated strategies, internally focused, self-important, much talk, little action. Now, I'm not implying this all applies to the geospatial industry, but there's certainly, certainly a lot of aspects of where we are today with the overall industry that is that some of these words one could describe it as. So we've seen two geospatial words at worlds emerge. We've got the established organizations within GIS remote sensing and other geospatially data focused groups. Now you'll notice I'm talking about organizations here and not companies. So these are some of the bigger bodies that are sort of moving the, the industry forward. There's, there are companies that are on the boards and help to be part of those bigger organizations. But I'm having an organizational focus here, not a company focus. We've also got now these newly emerging companies and groups. So I'm really talking here, this is really at the core of sort of the 2.0 conversation. The established organizations really sit in the sort of geospatial 1.0 world, long history, you know, been around for 40 years or whatever that, that looks like, a long, long time. The newer companies are, are relatively new. So you've got the small startups, you've got the likes of Amazon, Azure, Facebook, they've been around for a long time that are now getting into the geospatial space. So there's a lot of innovation that's happening within those, those organizations which are driving geospatial forward. But we have a big problem. There's a wall between these two worlds. The geospatial world sits over on one side the new world that's emerging and being innovative and, and frankly filled with money is really paying little attention to where we what that uh, established old world has been. Now, I, I have conversations with the folks in the established world uh, and a lot of them are my friends. So um, this is a pain point. So let me ask a question is just old geospatial. I could rephrase that as established geospatial, geospatial 1.0, whatever you want to call it. Is it still relevant? Is it still important? You can probably guess my answer to that question. Um, and it, again, if, if you listen to my previous talk about data and the data problems that we've got, the ge established geospatial world is, is super important. So in many cases, the, the ge established geospatial worlds I've got there, you have solutions to many of their problems but you're not included in the conversations. And that's that second part of that second sentence is a critical piece. So that relevance is geospatial one point is still relevant. Well, no, if we're not in the conversations, these new conversations over time, the old geospatial industry will become less and less relevant. So let's talk about steps to avoid this extinction. What does he, what does the established geospatial industry need to do to become part of this, these conversations? Well, first of all, to change, adapt, and become agile, critical. Can't keep doing what you've been doing, change. You've got to start hiring forward thinkers. If you use an established backward looking perspective, you're not looking forward. You need folks that are still th are thinking forward and, and that, that's not everybody. So you need to hire the right folks to help drive that future for you. You've critically got to understand what New Geospatial is doing. Do you know what these guys are doing? Have you sat down with them and, and really understood the things that are relevant? So are you visiting them regularly? Are you going to the Fords and the car companies that are looking autonomous dr driving? Are you actually sitting down with them and understanding some of the challenges they've got? Are you talking their language? I mean, their language is efficiency, lower overhead, profits. That's the things that drive them. Are you, are you talking the language that they're interested in? Um, and, and are you talking value? So what value do you bring? 
What have you already built? I mean, we, there's, a, there's a, a very established history of geospatial. There are geospatial experts who have built so many different things, so many standards are in place. These new guys know nothing about these things. How do we get that stuff in front of them? A lot of these companies are developer-led. So developers are asked to build things. They're not just spatially led. There's a very big difference. So the value of having a geospatial angle to start that journey is critical. It doesn't start with a developer. So a short talk again, like the first one, but I can only emphasize how important the established GIS, sorry, geospatial NGIS um, organizations are. If you are, if you become extinct, there are problems that the new world are going to, are going to encounter um, that you've already solved and they don't know it. You need to get in front of them. Um, Again, I go back to the data conversation I had before. Some of these data challenges we've got, you've got solutions to these problems that these guys are facing with data. We've got to get together and, and, and synergistically build this future of geospatial and not have this wall between us. Um, it's really important. I mean, it's, it's, it's important to life. If we've, got, if we've got autonomous cars and we've got data which is, we don't know the accuracy of, we need to correct that. And the geospatial industry is a really important driver behind that and so much else that's now going on. So that's me. That's my email address, matt.sheen at critogen.com. Agree, disagree, have some thoughts, let me know. Provide comments. If you like this video, give me a like. Um, and we'll talk again next week. Have a lovely long weekend for you in the US.